As of August 2021, Google is currently rolling out a Google search update they are calling the Page Experience Update. While this update is expected to slowly roll out until the end of August 2021, if you are a small business owner with a business website, you'll want to watch this video so that you can learn more about how this update will impact your search engine rankings. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, The Season Marketer, and I share marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. Let's start with the basics. Google first announced this page experience update back in November of 2020. Now they actually didn't start rolling it out though until June of 2021. And they expect that rollout will be complete at the end of August, 2021. So why is this update so important? Well, it may potentially affect where your website appears in the Google search results. The purpose of this update is to help Googlers find the best content that matches their needs. Now, it's probably good for us to know where Google is going with all of this. Google has already told us that in the future, they plan to have a visual indicator in the search results that will identify websites that have a good page experience. And we don't have much more information outside of that. So we don't know what that visual indicator will look like, if it will be an icon, a badge, maybe a grade or a green check mark next to these websites. And we also don't know when Google Google plans to roll this out. But here's what we do know. By the end of August 2021, this page experience update will affect Google's search ranking algorithm. Essentially, they are adding this page experience score or indicator as one more element to which your website will be judged on and will affect where your website appears within the Google search results. Think of it this way, your website is in a beauty pageant and Google is the judge and therefore Google will determine the top winners based on certain criteria. With this update, Google has now decided to add page experience as a new criteria. While it doesn't replace any of the other criteria that your website is being judged on, it will play an important role from here on out in determining whether your business website gets listed in the top three, top four, or even top five search results. Great, Vivian, but how do I know if my website provides a good page experience? What does that even mean? Well, luckily, Google lays it all out for us. Google has always been upfront about the fact that every website should include the following four elements. Mobile friendly. They know most people are searching for information on their phone, so they encourage all websites to have a mobile friendly layout. Safe browsing. They want to ensure that websites that they are listing high in their search rankings aren't compromised or unsafe or dangerous to visit. If you want to check how your website is doing, you can check out your site status by going here. HTTPS. They prioritize HTTPS sites over just HTTP sites because of the security associated with HTTPS sites. HTTPS sites use what we call a SSL certificate to help encrypt the text or website information. No intrusive interstitials. This is just a fancy way of saying they won't promote sites with heavy pop-up ads that take up most of the screen, whether on desktop or mobile. With this page experience update, they are adding what they call core web vitals to that list of four criteria that we just went over. Now there are three core web vitals and those are loading, interactivity, and visual stability. Loading, this refers to how quickly your website pages load. Google has given us a tool where we can check out and see how our website stacks up with this. Simply go to this website here. Interactivity. This refers to how quickly users can interact with the content on your website. Visual stability. This refers to the stability of your design elements on the page. In short, they are looking for pages that don't have elements moving around the page. For example, we've all been to a recipe page that when we pull up the recipe, elements will pop up on the website, which pushes all of the content down for us requiring us to forever scroll to find the recipe. That's one of the things that Google is looking for websites to not do because they know it's pretty frustrating to the user. 
Since Google has now given us another criteria to think of the page experience, they have also given us the tool to kind of gauge and figure out how well we're doing in this area. It's actually called the Page Experience Report and it can be found in Google Console. Now, if you're interested in learning more about that and want me to make a future video on it, go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know. And I'll strongly consider making a video here in the near future to guide you and show you where this report can be found. My recommendation if you are a small business owner with a website is to do the following. Be sure that you have an SSL certificate so that your website will be HTTPS versus HTTP. Check your safe browsing status. Use the link I provided in this video. Be sure that you don't have tons of pop-up ads on your page when it loads. Check your website's load speed. Use the link I provided in this video. And if you know that you are struggling with interactivity or visual stability, consider reaching out to a website expert to help you with those, unless you are willing to spend the time to research and resolve the issues that are making you deficient in these two areas. If you like this video, remember that every Monday I release a video just like this with information that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. Don't forget that I have a website at www.theseasonmarketer.com. I have a couple freebies there for you. I also have a video library and you can sign up for my weekly email list. So if you're just not getting enough marketing news information or tips, go ahead and sign up for that and I'll send you something every week that will help you grow your business. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.